Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun quick tip by Flowmotion. You see that? So this is exactly what I'm going to show you today because there's a brand new feature within Premiere Pro that allows you to automatically create transcriptions as well as captions. So just follow me into Premiere. But before we start the automated speech to text process, let me quickly tell you that if you have any question about this tutorial or about post-production, After Effects or Premiere in general, then leave me a comment down below and I promise I will answer all of your questions. Now let's get this thing going. You have to be aware that at the moment the automated speech to text tool is only available in the beta version. So if you open up your Creative Cloud app, you can go to the beta apps and here you can update your Premiere Pro beta, which should also be available for you. And then we simply open that one up. And by the way, you can have the beta version as well as the standard version installed and running at the same time. So here we are in the beta version of Premiere Pro and we can import our media by simply double clicking on the projects panel here and I am importing the intro you just saw. Now let's create a new sequence from that clip and you can do that by simply dragging it onto this new sequence icon. And here we have it. So now our goal is to create the captions automatically so that it analyzes what I'm saying and creates all the text, the transcript, everything for us automatically. And this is super easy. You need to have the captions window open and you can pretty easy do that by clicking on window and click on the text here. And here we have our captions window. By the way, if you don't see that on your version, you at first need to get approved to use the new feature. And here should be something like request early access and you can click on that or maybe by the time you're watching this, this is already integrated in the version. But on both ways, you will end up with that screen and you can simply click on transcribe sequence. And now it asks me what exactly to do. So I can choose which layer and at the moment I only have it on audio one, but I can still leave it on the complete mix because that's all that's in the mix at the moment. You could also go into the essential sound and tag them as dialogue and then you could only analyze the real dialogue, but let's keep it simple for this. And for the language, I am using English at the moment. I've also tried out German because normally I speak German and I do a lot of videos in German and that works perfect, but as the intro is English, let's go with English. And that's all you need to do. So let's click on transcribe because when you use this feature, your audio will be proceed and transcribed automatically in the cloud. So let's do that. When you click on that, you get a time indicator how long this will take. And it tells me that it takes about two minutes and you see it's about 20 to 25 seconds of text. And let me tell you something, this was real time. So it actually did not take two minutes, but let's say about 30 seconds. And when I play this back, watch over what happened here. Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun quick tip by Flowmotion. You see that? So this is exactly what I'm going to show you today because there's a brand new feature within Premiere Pro that allows you to automatically create transcriptions as well as captions. So just follow me into Premiere. And I have not changed anything. All of this was done in 30 seconds. There's just one typo mistake in here because I said flow motion. And of course, Premiere doesn't know that, but maybe in the future. So let's just call this flow motion. Perfect. And you also see wherever I'm moving my playhead, it also highlights in here, but you could also do it the other way around. Let's say you have a really long interview and you want to have like the title flying in once I'm saying welcome to flow motion. So I can just search for flow motion and the words get highlighted, but also the time indicator is exactly on that time. So let's type in feature and there we have it. And let's play this feature within Premiere Pro. So this is super, super powerful. But how can we now create captions out of this? 
Well, that's pretty easy because you already see the button create captions. So just click on this and all the defaults should be fine for standard subtitle captions. So I'm just clicking on OK and you see down there. Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun quick tip by Flowmotion. You see that? That is just perfect. Now you have all of this in here and you could simply double click on there to customize it or even open up your Essentials graphics window. And now over here you could change everything from the tracking style to the text, font, color, add a shadow and whatnot. So this is really, really great. So let's close the Essential graphics panel for now so we can see that a little bit better. And by the way, over here you can hide or show it. And there are actually two things that you would normally do with that now. You can simply export it as it is and then you have the captions burned in. But if you want to publish it like on Facebook or YouTube, it sometimes makes sense to upload the video and the caption files separately. So you can decide on your own if you want to see them or not. I remember when I did captions for some of my videos, this just takes ages and this is oh, you can't believe what kind of time saver this really is. But back to the export process. So let's at first define our in and out point by hitting I and O for in and out. And now we go to file, export media. And this will open up our standard export windows. So let's do something like an MP4 for YouTube and you can save it with your own file name, so nothing too fancy. But the really nice thing now is you also have a captions tab over here. And here you can decide now if you want to burn the captions into the video, or if you simply don't want to have the captions, or if you want to create an extra file. And a standard file would be like an SRT, but you have the option to choose that anyways. So now let's choose SRT, and I am going to save this in a speech to text folder and call it speech to text save and hit export and you see that really just takes a few seconds because I want to show you what we have at the end. You see that I have the video. Hey hello and welcome to this really fun quick tip by Flowmotion with no captions at all and you also have the speech to text SRT file that you can now upload as a caption file on YouTube, Facebook or wherever you want to have it. And this is already the end of this quick tip on how to create text from speech within the new beta version of Premiere Pro. If you found this interesting and learned a little bit then feel free to give me a like, a comment or subscribe to my channel because in that way I can do way more of those tutorials and quick tips and I really love doing those. But for now, I wish you a lot of fun with your speech and text in Premiere.